Hello everyone, bro here. Welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. Now, yes, I am back home. I'm not where I left it off uh, last episode because the coal generators are in that direction. I put a beacon down so I would not get lost again. But uh, anyway, I did, well, I guess you can guys can see what I have planned for this episode a little bit. I think it's time to uh, start platforming and uh, get everything on top and get more, uh, more stuff going and organized because um, just before I uh, started uh, recording I did do uh, some of these tiers I finished up tier 2 which was jump pads and logistics mark 2 um, now I was looking at the uh, tier 3 it's where I, it's where I start getting into the uh, steel production and on my, I forgot to place a beacon, but on my way back home, I did find that pure iron, which is actually really close to the uh, three coals. So I think that is where I'm gonna put my uh, uh, steel production factory. Now, there should be a limestone node over there somewhere, uh, relatively close. I just don't remember where. I wanna say it's maybe, I wanna say maybe a little bit more east. But, like I said, right now I just want to concentrate on uh, building my uh, platforms. Now, I figured this would be a good height to start with. I don't want to go too high. And if obviously I get to a hill where I need to build up, I will. And I'm not sure if these smaller ones were in my last season. But they're here now, so I'm going to utilize these so I have more room to move stuff underneath if need be, which I probably will. Uh, in terms of uh, the conveyor belts and whatnot. But I need, well not need, well need and want, to uh, start getting these, uh, producing more stuff like... Uh, Oh yeah, I still need to do that. Because I found those nodes, which I should have the beacon there. But I need to get more constructors and assemblers down now that I have more power. To start producing iron rods, screws. Well, I already have plates and rods going. Copper sheets, I do not. Um, I think I have wires going, but not cable either. Because uh, before last episode, I was really limited on power. But... As you can see, I got plenty of power. And now on my way back home, the other generator will be uh, uh, running for a little while before it runs out of fuel and I can just go ahead and take it down. So that'll drop. I think it'll drop maybe, I don't think it'll go under 800 for sure. I think they produce like 70 something. So this should be like producing 825 uh, megawatts. So I'm not too concerned about that. You know what? Since I am done with uh, these, now I do have stuff in here, the copper sheeting, which I use obviously for the uh, water pipes. That's just gonna have to stay there for now until I can uh, make another storage container, move them up. But I need to go get some concretes. I know I have quite a bit because I did over prepare a little bit from when I went to do the platforms for the coal generators but i want to over prepare a little bit more because i don't i don't want to go too overboard at the moment i know it's kind of weird for me saying that because i always say i like to go overboard but i have plans with uh all these machines i kind of want to build a little bit more upward i don't know i don't i'm sure things will change as i go and they usually do um but yeah that thing is full of plates so I want to get the uh, reinforced plates going so I can get the faster belts. Um, oh yeah, it's going to go my uh, concrete production. But yes, that is my plan for this episode is get some platforms down, get uh, my HUD on the uh, platform, possibly the space generator or space elevator, not generator. You can see. No, it's got, it doesn't have too much cable because I did take some out for uh, doing the research of the tiers. But um, 
Here's my, oh, my concrete production is still going. I didn't even look at this uh, till, well, um, till now. So how much do I got in there? Ooh, it's actually almost full. Perfect. I'm actually just gonna, uh, let's start with that for now. But depending on how much I get done and then the amount of time that it takes me to do it, I may just say screw it. Like, yeah, yeah, I may say screw it and get started on my steel production. Because that's like a much needed thing just to progress a little bit more. And that's another pure iron there. I just don't know how far that limestone was. I don't think it was relatively far by my foundations. So yeah, eight. Uh, I think it was just those two at the time. I could, I could be wrong. It was these four and then they gave us these smaller ramps because I don't think I remember them being that small but more or less it makes more room for uh, other projects so let's go ahead and start building out this way try until I get to my HUD yep, can't go anymore one thing I realized I didn't have that I miss well, obviously I didn't miss it too much if I'm just not remembering it. But there's those little uh, leg things that make me jump higher, run quicker. And whoops. Obviously I'm not anywhere near unlocking them yet. But it's fine. I will get there. Like I said, pretty much once I get the uh, steel production going, I should probably get up in tears pretty quickly. And obviously get my uh, uh, Mark II belts and Mark III belts going and stuff like that. But I don't think the I don't think I can do the Mark III belts even if I do unlock them because I take steel to make them. So those are going to be on hold for a little bit. But once I get my reinforced plates going, I should be doing all right in terms of that. Hey. Um. I think I'm gonna start going this way. Now this may change, it may not. I'm not sure. Let's see, a little bit more. Yeah, I think uh, once I get, I, I did do that one. Once I get this filled in, I'm going to, I just built something somewhere I didn't need to. Nope. But, um, oh, I was hoping I could do it quickly. No, not up there. Because it's better to do it while I'm up there. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. When I get this filled in, get my hub up here. I may just leave the space elevator there, honestly. I don't think there's any need for it to be on a platform. I was... That's what I, th I, th I think that's what I'll do. I'll just leave it where it's at for now. If I need to put it on a platform, I will. Because it's almost like level with these anyway. Um, but the thing is, I think I have stuff in the uh, chest in here. And as I have the storage container here, I'm not going to remove anytime soon. I'll just move all this stuff in there I can't wait till they get these spheres and the stupid uh, wisp thing or whip thing thought I had one it's probably still in there oh yeah never mind it's right there oh and I still and I still have these uh, power shards when, uh, well, because I know last series, what I did with all my coal generators is I maxed them out with the shards. And I might do the same thing with all those pumps and the coal generators, too. Because uh, the slugs don't really seem all that rare anymore. And they just added like a ton of them. So I think that's what I might do. Or most likely will do. All right. So let's go ahead and place my base of operation. Um, I guess let's place it 
here. That'll work. Then I can just build out that way if I need to. And then I need you and I need you. Oh no! When I did that, I took my generators offline. But I don't think that'll matter right now anyway. So yeah, so now if that generator, that other coal generator that I did disconnect, or yeah, disconnected from the coal production, wait for it to run out of fuel, then I'll be under 800, which I don't, still don't think it'll be a problem. Because I think those uh, machines don't really, uh, take a whole lot of power anyway so it should be set all right so uh which one organization no is it under production my workshop is i just got to find the ma'am let's see i think that that's a good spot for that and then the ma'am Where's it at? And especially, yes it is. And I think that one would do good right there. All right, perfect. I do still need to do a little bit of research on that. I need to go get the Kateria more still. Let's get rid of all these exclamation marks. I don't know why they keep coming back. I think I'm gonna do is at least keep these ones going i'm not even gonna worry about that other one i think it's still down there yep it's still down there producing so i think once that one runs out of fuel then i'll just go ahead and just tear it down and not worry about that one i could use the materials from that for something else but i think in the meantime i'll just keep these two going um no connection that's right you guys are not connected to anything yet. So. Pull. Get you there. Oh, wait. Wait, what? They're just doing nothing but putting power into each other. <laughs> I did not know that was a thing. Okay, but anyway. Um, of course you're full. What do you connect? You're probably connected to one of those. That will reach. Yeah, screw it. So I should be back up to... Wait, 895. Was that 855? Were one of these not going? Makes no sense, because uh, they were going before I started the episode, but whatever. All right. So, in my uh, plan is O2 is have everything run to storage containers. So that way, if I need something, I know where to get it, and I might. Um, that's the thing, though. I don't know where to run them all at. So I guess I'll just save that idea for a later time. I got these all platformed up. I don't know what I'm going to do about those yet. But like I said, I want to try to make those a little bit more efficient than I, what I did last season, but <laughs> no promises there. I'm pretty much one of those people. If it works, that's all I need. I don't care if it's efficient, as long as it produces what I want. Because, uh, like I said, I need to get reinforced plates i need to get um screws which i can actually turn one of those to make screws and i need an assembler so i can do the plates and the screws to make the reinforced plates and i think the rotors take screws and rods but what does the uh reinforced frame take a modular frame reinforced plates and rods of course they do okay you know what until i get more of an idea what i want to do with all this stuff and try and get something planned out i think this episode i will go ahead and start doing the uh steel production 
But yeah, this is kind of what I have planned at the moment. Just get these uh, platforms down. Start getting uh, those a little bit more organized and compact. Because if you've seen last episode, my freaking generators, man, I love it. Compact, but yeah, everything still works. So, let's see. I have... I know of one limestone, one iron, and I have three coal. I think all three of the coals were normal. I'm trying to th think of how many... Um, miners as a craft. Because I also need... Oh, that's the wrong one. So I can... I might go ahead and do three. Two for coal, one for limestone, and one for iron. I think that'll be a good starting point. Should actually... Okay, so I got the miners done. I don't think... Do I remember for the steel? As far as I know, is this raw iron and coal? Or is the assembler? It should be able to tell me. Right? Oh no, that's what the re... Wait. Yeah, that's what the refinery's for, huh? So, production. Oh, I'm an idiot. I don't even have... I don't even have that researched yet. Duh. Um, okay, so, uh... I cannot do my steel stuff today, because I have nothing to... <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> so, just forget I even mentioned, uh, the steel stuff. So, I think... You know what? I might just say screw it. Start tearing all that down and just... Go with the flow. Now, I can't really do anything with the storage containers at the moment because they're full of stuff. But hey, it's fine. If I have to move them, I will. So I can actually... Hmm. I don't want to say screw it. Just platform over there. Let's do it. Because I have the uh, conveyor lifts I can use. Obviously, I can't use Mark II yet, but I'll just use the Mark ones. And, uh, yeah, just have them come up here. I have that bound. Did he need me a hotkey? So I'll just do it that way. I should have plenty of concrete for all this, so I'm not too concerned about that. Oh. What am I running into? Probably this constructor. Yeah, so obviously the miner will have to stay down here. But however, those can go up. I don't even need this torch container here. I don't even need this iron. Is this my pure one? It is. So that'll... I just don't want to re waste all the resources either. I can just have everything... You know what? I'll just go ahead and uh, get rid of that. And then have everything empty out of this into those. So... My plan of attack is... Pretty much doing what I do with the coal generators and just line them up and have product to go into them, I suppose. Okay, so let me get back up there. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna I'm gonna come up to about here and platform out this way. Maybe at least to the miner so I can uh use the conveyor lifts. Alright, so I'm gonna call that good for now. But yeah, I can't put this one down because it is obstructing with that, which is fine, it's gonna get removed anyway. So, I am going to go ahead and take you down. So I want at least, um, well, I don't, well, how much power do they take? So if it was four, I'm going to do six. I'll go for it. I'll just go ahead and do six of these. Um, I can actually get rid of those because I don't need those now. It's not clearing off. Why is that? All right, so enough materials for all that Ooh, you know what i don't know about the oh, i'll make it work the conveyor lift and i don't know if i can get it to work with the storage container there so if i have to make another one just to move it so be it but i think what i should do though is make sure yeah i think that'll be fine because eventually i'm going to have the conveyor lift come from that Obviously, after the storage container is empty and connect to all my machines, which I should start placing down because I don't know 
exactly how all of them are going to go. But these are smelters, not constructors. Constructors are the big ones, really. Kind of like the main things I need. But, oh well, more or less. So, go ahead and do... Yeah, storage container is there, but I want room right at the front for the belts to wrap around. Actually, I'm going to need them going to a merger. Um, where's my mergers? Okay. Well, I guess if I have to move stuff around, I will. All right. Um, whoops. It's going to get kind of annoying. Can I get back up on here this way? No, I can't. All right. Long way it is. Oh, I can really use my jetpack right now. All right. So start placing them down now. Six there. Oh, uh, can I place a foundation there? I can. Sweet. Production smelter. Let's say. Mm, what is that one sitting? Okay. So right there. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so eventually I will have to get rid of that. Now I need my splitters. Perfect. Let's go ahead and do the process of hooking you guys all up. Alright, so machines would be getting fed. Let me figure out. Really? I swear I've jumped off higher stuff than that and not take any damage. Alright. So this conveyor lift. Yeah, I'm just gonna get into that. So it's not a big deal. Let's do that one there and I'll connect that one. I think I need to get up there to figure out how high. Can I use this to climb up? Nope. All right, long trip around again. Looks like I need to place you maybe there. Are you going to interfere with anything? Nope, going to connect right in. Perfect. Sweet. Now I need some power poles. But these aren't even going anyway. So I'll just go ahead and get rid of that. Where is that one going to? Is that all the way? Yeah, it's at that biomass. So I'll just keep that going because that connects to everything else. Uh, I guess you're fine. All right, so with that pole sitting there, actually, I'll just go ahead and screw it. But that one there shouldn't get in the way of anything. Supply powered you. Then bring these ones in. The Mark II power poles would be kind of kind of nice right now. So they all have power now. Perfect. Oh yeah, I need to tell them what to do, huh? Iron. All right, those are all doing the iron now. Now I need to have them exit out into constructors. And I don't know how many constructors I wanna go for. I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this one. I actually got all the iron in that one too I can use. I might actually start deleting some of this stuff. Or actually, I have this uh, awesome shop and whatnot. So, you know what? I'll save all that and see if I can trade it for some uh, stuff. Can I just go ahead and put a ramp here or something? All right, perfect. So, so, I should be able to, there we go. Let's just go ahead and expand out one more. 
My mergers. Now that I have that, I need them to go into my constructors, which I don't know if I should put like lined up here or maybe build up. No, I don't want to build up yet because I don't have any way of getting up there without my jetpack. So I'm not going to worry about that for now. So where do I want to put them? My, you know what? Screw it. I'll just put them all here. And then now I need this like this. How much longer are you? Well, let's get you as close as I can to that one. Wow, these guys actually take reinforced plates. So maybe I should start with two for now. Until I get the uh, plates going and whatnot. That'll do it for now. Around my merger. All right, so merger splitters down. Wow, it's actually really close to that side. Well, as long as I can connect my belts, I don't care. No, my belts. I'm on my belts. Go push the wrong button. All right, sweet. All right, so with all those connected, should be going in there. Yep. These guys should be getting loaded up. Um, see, so I just don't know what to produce. Well, since I got three nodes, I'm going to have, I'll just go ahead and have, uh, plates be produced here. And then, uh, on the other side, I'll do my rods and screws. All right. Get you all connected up. All right. So looks like they are all being fed. And now all they need is power. As long as I have one wire left on that, I can do that. All right, perfect. Plate production is a go. So now I should put down... All right, perfect. So this should uh, fill up relatively uh, quickly. So now I have a sustainable uh, plate production going. Uh, what is, what's my peak at? 110, 111, not bad. So now I need to do the same thing over, whoops, did I mean to eat that? Where's my little tool? I want my tool in my hand. Oh, that's fine. So I need to do the same thing with the copper. And then do the same thing to the limestone over here. Your more constructors built up. Yeah, still got a lot of work to do. But got that going. So I think what I'm going to do now is I am going to do pretty much the same thing, but over there with those other two nodes. And like I said, I'm gonna have one do rods. Actually, uh, yeah. Well, since I have two nodes over there, then the rods get turned into screws. And well, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just go ahead and turn on the rod. Use one for screws and use a one just for rods. Cause I'm gonna need them. And change them up if I need to. So yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and stop what I'm doing now because I'm having to take some of this stuff down just so I can uh, place more uh, platforms. But it's really the same thing I did over there, except for this one's gonna be doing uh, the rods. Actually, I might do when well, this pulls in the way. Um. Yeah, I'll just have this one do the rods and then this one's going to do rods as well, but obviously turn those into screws. But I can't expand this way a little bit more or at all until I remove that one, I believe. But before I end the episode, what I want to do 
is try out this awesome sink since I'm having to get all the materials out. Yeah, I had to make some reinforced uh, plates because uh, the constructors take some. I think one of the other machines do too, but oh well, it is what it is. Uh, and out of all that, I have no screws. I really can't wait to get my uh, screw production going so I can stop doing this manually. So I'm going to sit here and craft some screws real quick. All right, so I'm just going to stop at 300 because I think 300 screws would be good enough. As far as I know. So I think for now I want to place this thing. Oh, wow, it's actually way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, I'm sure naturally it's going to take power, huh? 30? Holy crap. And I got this awesome shop, which is tiny, relatively. So, and you're bigger than I was expecting. I think I'll just go ahead and put you... At least right here for now. I want to see what you're all about. No power, not a problem. Let's see. Put a pole there, give you power. Points until next coupon. So can I just throw stuff in this? How does this work? Do I have to automate stuff into it? Yes, I will find out. And then do I just put these in there? Hey, there it goes. Aha, all right, sweet. So yeah, none of this is going to be going to waste. And then I'm going to put... Oh, it's like whatever points per minute. I see, I see. I think I'm going to put the little guy just out here in front. I don't know which way he's supposed to be turned. But I'm just going to put him right there. Okay. Vehicles. Wait, what is this? Wait, what? Walkways. Wait a minute. Confusing creature. <laughs> I guess that about sums it up. The golden nut. Yes. Foundations. Really? This is freaking awesome. Windowed walls? Okay, attachments. Power, okay. So these I can, uh, as far as I know, from the little trailer that I seen of this up, or of the last update they did to this game, is you can connect these on the walls and underneath their foundations. Foundation pillar. I think I think I'll utilize those just for fun. But this What is this? I like it. Parts. So how much screws do I get? A full stack? Oh man, I think I'm gonna utilize this. Holy crap. Oil products, yeah, so as I progress in tears. Dude! Equipment. <gasps> I think that's the jetpack. What do I want a coffee cup for? Dude. Purchases. I have no purchases. Is this freaking awesome? I like it. Hmm. 
Where am I at? It takes so much though for the coupons. Mmm. I'm liking it. You know what? I'm going to. Well, I don't think anything costs one token. I'm assuming there's something I carry in my inventory? Is that a thing? Oh, wait, here we go. You know what? I want to buy a cup. Why not? I think that's a good way to end off the episode. Buying a cup. It's cool. I do like this. Because there's times when my machines aren't doing anything, then I can just collect stuff and throw it in here and just have it recycled. But then again, well, yeah, actually, never mind. Because then uh, I just keep buying stuff. It's perfect. And all these, I, I, I kind of like this foundation pillar. I don't want to sit here and wait for two tickets, though. But yes, I will end this episode off by getting this coffee cup. So let me go get some more uh, iron. Let's see. Yep, I'm gonna grab some more iron that is not being utilized. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna see how much stuff is in this storage container so far. I would think quite a bit. Oh yeah. These machines are going yeah, they're backed up, which is nice. Eron. You know what? I'm just take all that. Just throw it all in that machine. You know what? Let's do something. Uh, never mind. Let me get some more plates real quick. And I can't because I just filled up my inventory. Fine, I'll just carry what I can for now. Because I think temporarily what I would like to do is uh, run the uh, a uh, conveyor belt all the way to this machine from that uh, storage container. <laughs> and just have everything to sense over to this. I think that'd be cool. Yes, I can have it go down. Go ahead and uh, put you there. I guess I'm not going to use as much plates as I thought I was going to. You know what? How about I do this? Since I got the plates above here producing. Why can I not connect you? Wait, is this the wrong? Oh. That's because that's the wrong container I'm trying to connect you. That could be the reason why. But what I'm going to do is uh, have my uh, leftover plates from the other production go in there as well. Let's connect you. And then let's connect you. Perfect. <laughs> yep, those are going in. Or coming out, I should say. Now I'm going to put the uh, iron that I grabbed into that machine. Yeah, I think I'm out. I don't hear it going anymore. All right. Perfect. How far am I away from my coupon? Sweets. And I got those coming this way, I believe. Yep. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get a lot of coupons. Well, uh, in between episodes, what I'm going to do is, like I said, that higher production is going to be the same minus the screw production part, which is just going to be a little add on of more constructors. It's going to be just like this one in terms of the setup. And then the next things I want to do is get a better uh, production rate going for the limestone and for the copper 
But right now, like, I'm just trying to concentrate on those reinforced plates at the moment. Wait, why are those stopping there? Is that a thing? Weird. Soon, once I get better... You know what? I do have some of those uh, reinforced plates left. I think I'm gonna speed things up a little bit. Yeah, so it just keeps getting stuck right there. Hmm. I was kind of hoping that would help. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm just gonna use whatever plates I have for now, I suppose. Yep, that was the last of it. There. So I guess it's not really utilizing them all that much. Just because of the lifter. But I should have a coupon by now, right? Yeah, <laughs> Give me that coupon. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. All right. I want my coffee cup. And boom. So what is this? What does a cop coffee cup do? That is cool. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and drink coffee now. Oh, dude, that's so cool. I thought it was like a little placeable item you just do nothing with. Does it regenerate health? I don't think it does. I guess it would be kind of OP if it did. Can I spill it? I don't think I can. Dude, that's cool. I like it. I really do. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, build my tower here. All right. So with that said, I think it is time to end off this episode for today. So I don't think I really did a whole lot this episode. I just did like more brainstorming to figure things out, obviously. But I think I have a good thing going. But uh, in between episodes, I'm going to get uh, those powered up, get those going. Uh, do the same thing right there. Get the screws going because I need those. And then uh, next episode, I want to get I want to get more stuff producing. I need to get my rotors. I need reinforced plates it's pretty bad. Because next episode, I would like to get started on my steel production. I'm in the stage where I need it to progress a little bit more. And plus, I need those uh, other parts to upgrade the space elevator again, which is going to take a little while. But yes, I hope everybody enjoyed this episode of Satisfactory as I take a sip of my coffee. And I will talk to you all later.